taking a look at my video today. So I got some new goodies that I uh, want to do an unboxing for. Uh, some tripods there uh, for the videos really, uh, but I'd also like to show you guys that. Um, and then I've got something much better in the cardboard box. Uh, but before I can get to that, I told myself that I would clean up this disaster area that I've got here. So, um, I'd like to say it's at its worst, uh, but that's not true. Uh, this is actually a lot better than it was. Uh, but what I am going to do right now is attempt to uh, open up those tripods and get that, uh, show you guys that. And then um, what's in the cardboard box there, I'm pretty excited about doing. It's nothing all that new, um, probably nothing all that exciting to a lot of folks, uh, but it's new for me. And the big reason that I want to want to film the unboxing and talk a little bit about it is because I had a hard time finding all the information that I wanted um, about it and so I thought maybe some of you folks would want to know as well so like I said what I'm going to try to do is film this unboxing of tripods without a tripod so here we go First off, I've got this small one. Uh, just a flexible tripod. Uh, the thing that kind of sold me on it, it's well reviewed. There's some instructions there. Um, but it also includes a uh, phone mount. So that'll be really nice that I'll be able to use. Um, the camera or the phone with that. We got a tripod here wrapped up in a little plastic. Uh, definitely lots of little packaging. Uh, it was not a cheap product, the Joby. Got it at Best Buy. Uh, it was not cheap, uh, but like I said, I wanted the. What's it matter, right? One more box to the pile. I wanted the phone mount. Uh, and uh, I also have some other uses for it, not for recording necessarily, but uh, it would be nice to have a, a stand for my phone. So, uh, and it can also be used with the camera. So I will um, enjoy getting to use it for that. Nice. It's going to work well. That just attaches to the screw there. We've also got the screw on the bottom, which I guess that's how we get our proper landscape. Got the articulating legs. Got a nice swivel mount. Seems easy to use. It's going to articulate however we want. Yeah, so I think that's going to be nice. Plastic here. Normally I throw this away because. Sure, it could just be used for something. We've got to get rid of some of this stuff. So. All right, well, let's try it out. All right, so now that we've got that going, set up, didn't even need the instructions for it. Uh, let's take a look at the big boy. 
this should help quite a bit as well. This is a Manfrotto tripod. Again, not cheap. Uh, there was a cheaper option, but I decided to go for this one. It had some nice little features. Uh, I have a Manfrotto backpack that I use every day. I've uh, been using it for oh, I guess nine months now and it's held up incredibly well and I use it every day. I take it back and forth from work, carry my camera, carry my laptop, uh, and it's done really well. So this is nice. Our phone holder fell on the floor there. So again, that's a nice little option to have. Got this nice carrying case. Uh, this is padded, you know, so that should that should be nice. I'll be able to strap this right to my backpack if I want. That makes it easy to just undo all those real quick. with it right now. Nice tripod though, nice and stable, got good height. This uh, adjustment there was highly recommended. Yes, I like that. It's got really nice retention. Uh, you can snug it up, but it's still movable. should be good. So there's another nice thing, it just has this little nub with your mount, so you put that in the camera, you don't have to worry about what direction it's going or anything like that, just pop it in there. Um, you can tighten that up with the thumb screw right here. Uh, you can undo this and get even more crazy angles. Anything you need. So, really nice. Um, this piece, once you loosen it, this piece actually comes out and then can go in there, and you can lower the legs, and then you can get really low to the ground. So it's a really nice tripod. Watched some reviews on YouTube for it, and like I said, knowing the brand, I decided to go ahead and spend the money. It's definitely my MO. Spend the money, right? Uh, but it should be nice and it should last. Alright. See if we can get a little better close up of this one. Show you some of the details. Uh, got some of our adjustments here. Get this guy to focus. There we go. That took a little while. But, uh, yeah, you can see we've got the adjustment here. And again, this will tighten up your nub in case your camera's wobbling up there when it's screwed in all the way. So you can adjust that, make sure it's nice and snug. Again, you got a lock here um, so that you can lock out a couple different uh, directions. Um, get side to side and uh, everything there. Then you can still lock it all up with that. Looks like a. Oh, I see. Okay. Get that in there. That locked. Let's get the release for the nub. Nice and easy. 
nice and smooth. Hopefully, guess we'll find out. So, yeah, seems like it should be really nice. Looking forward to using it. Maybe what I'll try and do is, once I do get this disaster uh, squared away, then I can take a little closer look at the, at the tripod. So I'll have some uh, more, more workspace here, maybe some better lighting. I have a, an idea for a project that I'm hoping to do there. Um, and like I said, this is, this is what I'm really excited about. I, uh, forward to that, chomping at the bit, but I told myself, wasn't going to do any of it. Thanks for checking out this video. Like, 